Unit 3.11 Practice Problems Infrared spectroscopy is a useful tool for scientists who want to investigate the structure of certain molecules. Which of the following best explains what can occur as a result of a molecule absorbing a photon in the infrared, uh, a photon of infrared radiation? So for infrared, uh, we are uh, specifically going to be finding the uh, functional groups. which means that we are going to uh, be determining uh, what kind of bonds we are dealing with and the strengths and types of those bonds. So that is going to be option B. The energies of the infrared photons are in the same range as the energies associated with the different vibrational states of chemical bonds. Molecules can absorb infrared photons of characteristic wavelengths, thus revealing the types and strengths of different bonds in the molecules. That's going to reveal our functional groups, and so uh, option B is going to be our best choice here. Which statement uh, correctly compares what occurs when a molecule absorbs photons in the microwave region with what occurs when molecules absorb photons in the infrared region? So for microwaves, we are identifying the uh, uh, molecular rotations and for infrared we are identifying functional groups Option choice A says that microwave photons cause the molecules to increase their rotational energy states whereas infrared photons cause the molecules to in, uh, increase their vibrational energy state. And uh, that is going to be true with the identification of functional groups. We are specifically uh, increasing their vibration and measuring that. Uh, since we have identified that the microwaves are increasing rotational and the infrared is increasing vibrational, that is going to be our correct choice. Uh, nitrogen molecules absorb ultraviolet light but not visible light. Iodine molecules absorb both visible and ultraviolet light. Which of the following statements explains the observations? So, um, Ultraviolet light is going to have a higher uh, energy state. We have a shorter wavelength, higher energy, and um, are able to impact our iodine versus our nitrogen. So since visible light does not produce transitions, it doesn't have enough energy to produce transitions between the electronic states in it, nitrogen, but it can produce it in the iodine molecule. Um, if it was able to have enough energy, uh, then it would be absorbed, but it was not. Beta-carotene is an organic compound with an orange color. The diagram above shows the ultraviolet spectrum of beta-carotene. Which of the following statements is true about the absorption bands uh, in the spectrum? So as we go from left to right, we are within the visible range here. And remember that our uh, visible range is uh, typically um, right, right in between here up to, up to 800, where the 800 is our red um, and over here would be our purple color. So we are um, corresponding with approximately the red-orange um, section of the uh, color spectrum. Um, so we can see that the majority of our absorbance here is between uh, 400 and 500 nanometers. Um, and that is going to be visible light. And since it is uh, visible light, uh, we can see the absorption bands are associated with the electronic energy levels 
and uh, the shorter wavelengths have a lower absorbance than the uh, corresponding longer wavelengths. Okay, uh, so we see the absorption spectrum of our uh, electromagnetic radiation spectrum, and we are uh, asked uh, the diagram above represents the absorption spectrum of a pure molecular substance. Which of the following correctly indicates the type of transition observed for the substance in each of the regions of the absorption spectrum? So we are just being asked, region X, we're dealing with ultraviolet and visible, region Y, we're dealing with infrared, and region Z, we're dealing with microwave. So for uh, ultraviolet, we are dealing with uh, electronic transition. And so we will eliminate any options that don't have electronic transition as our, um, is what is happening there. Uh, region Y, we're dealing with infrared and we are dealing with uh, molecular vibration for the infrared spectrum and molecular rotation for the microwave spectrum. So that is going to be option choice D. And so that is going to be our, um, statement just because that is what is happening in each of those uh, regions of the electromagnetic radiation spectrum.